Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Swimsuit Saturday. I am hoping and praying that we redeem ourselves this week. So last week we went inside at Dillard's. That video, I was very frustrated, I feel like. Um, but I also feel like it's important to show you the misses. We have a lot of hits here on my channel for Swimsuit Saturday. And when you have, like, when a department store flubs that big, I feel like you have to, you have to have to include it. So I hope that you um, still enjoyed seeing the fails, but this week I feel like we're gonna have a bunch of wins. So we're doing lands in. I did do lands in last year for Swimsuit Saturday, and a lot of y'all really loved it. They do great quality swimsuits. They are a little bit on the pricier side, but from chatting with a lot of y'all in the comment section and on Instagram, they hold up really, really well. So Lands In also partners with Draper James, a brand uh, by Reese Witherspoon that does carry plus size swimsuits. So I have regular Lands In swimsuits, and then I believe I have one or two, for sure one, uh, like signature Draper James style swimsuit. Also, I have another like dupe, ish I feel like could be a dupe uh, for another brand that's really hard to get your hands on if it works out. So everything that you are about to see I will link in the description box down below. Uh, let's see what else. My measurements are there. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm very very excited. I think I have five. I have five items. One of them is a little bit different. So instead of just talking your head off let's just get into it. Listen y'all. When Lands In says tummy control, they mean nothing else because I am sucked in to this swimsuit. Like, can we have a moment? All right, so this one is actually chlorine resistant and tummy control, it says on the website in a size 20 W. Now I didn't pay full price for anything. Everything I got in this haul was on sale. So I'll put the sale price on the screen, but I'll also put the regular price. I also feel like Lands In always does sales, always. So if there's something you like, I almost wanna say hold off until you can get it on sale. So let's start with this swimsuit, obviously, the one that I'm wearing. So this like, ditzy this is not ditzy floral it's more of a big floral pattern but this like floral is so in right now especially the blue floral and this is so cute so i like the little wrap thingies here that's what they look like though i could do without them like i like them and i understand their job but I could do with or without them. So it is kind of a lower V. It has sewn in padding. So it's not molded cups. There's no underwire, but it does have sewn in padding. Straps are super thick. It's a full, like actual full bottom scoop back swimsuit. The back is like the perfect like height for me. Straps are thick enough to wear, like I feel comfortable. This is so cute, why do I love this so much? I can't see it as well as you can right now because you're kind of far away from me, but just the silhouette, this part right here, I just feel like is killing it. Like this is where it's at. I love the print as well. Listen, I'm a good like solid swimsuit person too. Y'all know I love a good black swimsuit. But I also feel like this is a floral print that's not tropical. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Like I just feel so cute in this. This was not the plan for the first one either. I have, I mentioned like a dupe swimsuit. We'll do that one next. But I thought that was gonna be my favorite by far. And so this one I was like, well, let's get this colorful one out of the way first and I underestimated it. I apologize ahead of time, Lands In, because this, what else do you have to say about it? Like they did their due diligence, their duties, and killed it. First one, out of the gate. I love it. I hope the whole video is like this. 
Okay, this is the first time I'm looking at this. Is the same time that you're seeing it? Let me adjust you just a little bit. So this one also says tummy control, chlorine resistant in a size 20W. This size is perfect for me. So this reminds me of those Somersault. The brand Somersault sells these double color asymmetrical pattern type swimsuits. They're super popular. They're known for them. But every time I go to find that swimsuit, like one like this in my size, it's unavailable. It's sold out. It doesn't come in my size, whatever the case may be. So when I spotted this one on Land's End website, I thought that it would be a good chance for me to try this style with the color and see if it's even me. All right, I think I need to sort of like this shelf bra is kind of sitting in that crease in my back right there. All right, so here's what it looks like. It does also have the sewn-in padding, no molded cups, no underwire. I love this here. I also love the red with the pink. And then this little detail here is really fun, this little cutout. And then it has one strap that's adjustable, but it's double straps in the back. Here's what I mean. So you can see it's one strap that goes into two and the adjustable bit is right there. But if you adjust it, it will adjust technically both because it's one strap. This one I do like, it says Ly Lycra, L-Y-C-R-A on the tag right there. I'm also wearing my underwear. So if you see like an underwear line, that's what it is. This is also definitely tummy control. The other one does feel like it squeezes me in a little bit more. But this is such a vibe with the different colors. This shelf bra is throwing me off. Like maybe, let's see if I can get it straight. I don't know if it's working for me. Like from far away, I really like it. But it's this, like it, it's, it's all around here and then goes around to the back. You can probably see it. So in theory, this is an adorable swimsuit. And from far away, I agree. I think it's such a fun, and different swimsuit. I don't feel like like I'm coming out of it whatsoever. There is no um, like rubber or silicone or anything around the band here to sort of make you feel secure. But also there's this like extra elastic there. Like I don't feel like I'm just gonna fall out of this. So this was the one that I was the most excited for because I felt like if it worked, then it's a great dupe for that somersault swimsuit and you can actually get your hands on it. I think I paid like 47 bucks on sale. Um, and I know that those other ones, like the, the name brand somersault ones are what, $100, $120. So here we go. The other one I just love more. This one I don't dislike, like don't get me wrong. I, I'm not mad about it. I just feel like the fit is just a little bit off for me. It's the right size though. So keep that in mind. This is like true to size for me. It's just the shelf bra is so uncomfortable and it's sewn in. So I can't like pull it out and show you what it looks like. You know what? I'll go put another one on and then I'll flip this one inside out and show you. This is the next one to see. But first, so here's what the inside of it looks like. The sewn in padding and then this like shelf bra all the way around is sewn in. I wish I could just take this out, like leave the padding, but let's just get rid of this. This swimsuit, so this is part of the Draper James and Lands in collab. So this is in a size 20W, I'm pretty sure. I'll put it on the screen like you've seen with the other ones. This one is a wrap style one piece. It does say tummy control, I'm pretty sure. Not chlorine resistant like the others, uh, but it did say tummy control. I picked it because it has underwire in it and I thought that some of y'all would prefer that. We chat a lot, I mention this all the time, but we chat a lot in the comment section of other videos and underwire is something that a lot of y'all would prefer in a swimsuit. So when I see a cute one with the underwire option, I try to grab it and show you. So this one, the wrap style is here at the top. Now it has padding in it. I wouldn't call it molded cups. I would call it more so padding and then the underwire. I feel like I might be a little bit tall for this one. I know Land's End does offer tall 
um, options. I don't think this is a tall suit. I feel like the underwire is here and like the bottom of my breast is here. So I feel like it's just like not, not quite uh, sitting in there. This is actually the same fabric. It's not like a belt or anything. The stripe detail here, and then you've got the navy and white checkered option. Straps are adjustable. It was kind of a little bit of work to get it up on me. Um, so it's cute. Like from far away, this like checkered, is it gingham print? Um, it reminds me of a picnic. It is a very cute look. Fit wise, it's okay. I feel like that first one, I'm just blown away by it and love it so much that I feel like the bar was set very high from the get go. But this one is super cute. Like this would be cute with, um, get you some like white linen shorts and wear those with like a big hat. If you're going to like a beach pool vibe lunch or something, and you've got like a really cute top that's very comfortable. I'm looking at it in the mirror right off camera. So like maybe a size up would work better, though I feel like it fits everywhere. Maybe it's just not for me. Anyway, here we go. Cute in theory, not the best fit for me, but I don't not like it. Again, just like the red and pink one, I don't not like it. I just feel like that first one did it for me. <laughs> okay, so shelf bras must just be a thing because this one has it as well. This is also the Draper James line with Lands In, but I had to get like the signature pink gingham print picnic style. I feel like this is sort of, when I think of Lands In and Draper James swimsuits, it's this pattern this pink color. So this one actually can be off the shoulder. Nope, that's not the word. Strapless, there we go. Or it has the straps, it's just two strings that you tie. What I liked about this one is this, not paper bag style, but smocked, I guess, right around the top here. And then you've got your signature pattern here. This one, I need to look and see what size it is. I feel like it's a little bit big. Like the fabric here, I've got a little bit of extra room. It doesn't feel like it's tummy control whatsoever. Here's what it looks like from the back. It's very cute. Like if you have a birthday party, like a pool party or something to go to, I feel like this is a very cute swimsuit. It's more modest in my opinion, if that's your vibe. It does have the sewn in padding again with the shelf bra, no underwire. Um, no molded cups, but I do feel comfortable in it. I just think maybe it's a little bit big. Maybe I got this one in a size bigger than the blue one, but I feel very cute in this one. It's just not my favorite of the video, but I'm glad I got it because like I mentioned, this is sort of the signature that I think of for this collab it lands in. And so I'm glad I got it to give it a go. And I think a lot of y'all would like it too. The last piece that I have. So overwhelmingly, I get questions about swim shorts or either tankinis and swim shorts are sort of um, equal on the grand scheme of questions and requests that I get. Um, but swim shorts is something that a lot of people ask me about. A lot of y'all uh, would prefer to wear swim shorts or a tankini style swimsuit with shorts at the pool or at the beach, whatever your outing is. So I spotted these, they're like bike shorts, but they're swim bike shorts. So I got them in a size 2X, which they say is a 2022. I really liked the blue like pattern on them. I thought was nice. It also has this Lycra Extra Life tag on it, but they didn't have any tops that matched it exactly. Like they had solid tops and I actually had one in my cart to grab and then I thought, if it doesn't match exactly, I probably have a top that I can pair with these so that I can show you what they look like on someone. So let's go uh, scout the old swimsuit tote and see if I've got something in there.
So here we go. This is the swimsuit tote. Lighting in here is not phenomenal. I'm in the laundry room. So I figured, let's see, I have so many separates. Let's see if there's one in here that matches. Okay, I have this one. It's sort of a little bit more purple. I knotted it the last time that I wore it. Okay, that could be a good option. I also have just like colored ones. I have a leopard print top. I have a pineapple top. I feel like there's so many like rainbow. We've got this neon colored one. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this one. And welcome back. So here we go. Do I need to keep these shorts? We're going to Disney next month, Brian and I, just as adults, we're taking an adults only trip to Disney. But for the days that we do water rides, I could wear these with like a swim top, but wear like a tank top over it. D Excuse me. Do I need to keep these? Okay, true to size, 1000%, the size 2X fits me perfect. I would not size down, I would not size up. I love the thick band here. They're not super long. <gasps> Is that a pocket? Oh my gosh, they have pockets. Oh my God. <laughs> Do I need to keep, I think I need to keep these for Disney to wear specifically on the day that we do the water rides. Okay, so this whole setup is super cute with the top. Again, like I mentioned, they did have solid colored tops on the website if you needed a top, but I have so many swimsuits that I just couldn't fathom buying. Just, I don't know, I just needed the shorts. I didn't really care about the top. The shorts were sort of uh, where it's at for me and these okay <gasps> I love these my strap pops so I just like tucked it if you see it's like weird in the back it's because I just like tucked it into the other one um okay yeah yep I only have solid shorts to wear. I bought, y'all know I love those Ava and Viv bike shorts. So I have like three pair of those. I have a pair from Aerie. My plan for Disney is just to wear bike shorts every day because I like them and it sort of avoids the thighs rubbing together issue. Um, plus it's gonna be super hot, so I don't wanna wear pants. Um, so I was just gonna wear bike shorts and like a sports bra and either a light, like longer t-shirt or tank top or something. I think I need these. Okay, I like them. So here we are. This is this is my last swimsuit. Let's talk favorites. So you've seen everything, by the way. My favorite swimsuit is the first one, that blue floral, the tummy control, the wrap style, the silhouette. Silhouette, do I not say it like that? The silhouette, everything about it is just, is so, so pretty and it fits so well. But these shorts, I like them for a whole different reason. Like I have never tried on bike shorts style swimmers. I feel like the ones that I've tried have been the super short ones that you wear with like a tankini top. I am so impressed with these. They're not super thick. They don't have a ton of compression. Like it feels like a swimsuit on my body, but in shorts. Am I, am I freaking out for no reason? Like does everyone else in the world know about swim bike shorts and this is just like an epiphany for me they just fit perfect i'm keeping them i don't really need any swimsuits like as far as that first one that i really really liked um so i need to really sit down and think about it but as far as these shorts i'm keeping them 1000 percent, and i'm wearing them to disney because this is absolutely perfect for what I need for the trip. All right, so everything I tried on, I will link in the description box down below. I hope that you found something you liked. I did definitely redeemed, uh, Swimsuit Saturday redeemed itself. I'll say that from last week's uh, Dillard's video. I found quite a few things I liked in this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.